How, how do you know what you need to soak for making your basket? And today I just want to show you a few steps that I've used over the years to teach people what to do. channel all about basket and basket baking and techniques and weaving and all that kind of stuff. My name is Hannah van Alst. I'm just that. I'm a basket maker and I'm also an artist. First of all, I just want to thank you for being here. As of today, I'm nearly at 1000 subscribers and I know that it's just a number and to me it doesn't really matter, but um, I never thought there'd be so many of you interested in basket making. So that really warms my heart and just makes me really happy. Um, so thank you for being here. Um, if you know someone who would enjoy this channel too, please uh, share the video to them, um, share the link or whatever, and it would all help um, to spread the word about weaving. Today, I want to show you how to select the right willow for your project that you're making. Okay, you might have your willow there, they're all in bundles and you want to start on a project. Um, but how do you know what willow you need to soak um, to make ready for weaving a basket. How do you go through that process? What is, what are the steps involved to actually selecting the right, uh, up right base sticks and weavers for each project? So the first thing I always do is I go and look for uprights <clears throat> because the size of your uprights is going to define the rest of your weavers and base sticks. Let's say I'm making a small basket like this one. It's always easier to have an example that you can look at to compare the thickness of the willow. If you don't, just kind of try to imag imagine it in your head and uh, hopefully you'll get there as well. But let's say I'm making a small round shopping basket and I'm looking for uprights. So what I'll go do is I'll go through my bundle of sticks. I take out one of the rods that I think might be suitable. We know that um, our uprights are going to push, be pushed into our base about this much. So we take that off and then I'm going to add the height of my basket onto it, which would be about there. And then I have to make sure that th this part of the rod is still, <coughs> then I have to make sure that this part of the rod is still um, sturdy enough to put down a border, but not too thick to make it too hard to put a border down. But, um, you can compare thicknesses like this. So if you put the rod at the height that we were just discussing, Beside the other one, you'll see that, yes, this is the right thickness. So, um, <clears throat> great, I can get another 24 of those. I always have one extra spare one just in case. When that is done, then we know that our base sticks are going to be slightly heavier than our, the bottom part 
of our upright. So for our base sticks, we're going to look through this usually the same bundle. You'll find a thicker rod that you can use the bottom part of, and you can use that for your um, base sticks. All the other rods are going to be thinner. They're going to be your weavers. So at every stage of the basket, the weavers are going to be thinner than your base sticks and thinner than your uprights. So your weavers should always be um, thinner than the structure of your basket. So once you have your uprights, you have your base sticks, you can go looking for weavers. They should be always thinner than your uprights and your base sticks. And within the range of weavers you're selecting, select some that are nice and skinny for starting off the base. Um, and then the other ones should be pretty much um, similar in thickness, but always thinner than your uprights. Lastly, I would then go and think about, do I need to add a handle? Um, how many handle sticks would I need? And then always um, think about maybe throwing in a few more for, for extras so that you don't run out. So then you, that's um, how I would go about selecting my willow for each project. Once you have it all gathered, you're going to put it in the water and soak it for the required time. At this time of year, you will need to be a little bit more patient. I have another video about how to check um, to see when your willow is ready for using it. So I'll leave a, a link to that as well. Hope this made sense and it makes it a little bit easier for you um, about how to go about, you know, making a basket. <clears throat> if you would like to learn more, I have a selection of uh, online classes available. There's a free class that brings you through the basic steps of making a basket. If you want to dive in a little bit more and want to learn about different basket making techniques, different borders, handles and that kind of stuff. I also have a course available for that. I'll leave the link below and I might see you in there at some stage. And thank you so much for watching and for now, happy weaving!